Did you um, did you guys do anything differently to get pressure on the quarterback and, and get some tackles for loss in the second half, or was it just guys raising their level? Uh, I think our coverage got a little bit tighter at times, and just you know Patrick Payton and Josh Farmer are kind of growing up, you know, and that showed up a couple times, and you know they're just we got a good better beat on the protection, and just the games that we were able to run up front came home. So our guys did a good job. I mean we we had, we had two in a row, I think on a second and third down, you know, then we had another one on the following third down. So, you know, they kind of came in groups there and our guys kind of um, really settled in and did a nice job. We'll go in front of Brendan. Kind of in line with that, Adam, uh, the play of Jared Verse, given that he wasn't 100% working through things during the week, I guess, how, how significant was he in helping you guys out on Saturday? I mean, he was significant, um, you know, we got a lot of faith in Jared, and you know he didn't practice, you know, most of the week. You know, he kind of went through walkthrough and gave us a little bit Friday, and you know, um, kind of let the doctors and him manage it on Saturday, um, as far as how he was feeling. And you know, he grabbed me, he said, "Coach, I'm ready." And so, you know, I went, went to the doctors, and you know, we wanted to make sure we kept him on a pitch count. We don't want to have him out there too long, uh, but you definitely saw him and you felt him, you know, his presence. So. You know, looking forward to a full week for him this week, and uh, you know we're glad to have him back. <clears throat> on the success that Wake had on third and fourth down situational, was there a common theme? Was there anything that you noticed? Obviously, they had more success early than late. Yeah, I mean, way too much success. You know, I mean, you know, we got them to third, and you know, I'd say seven plus enough times. Um, you know, so. Two, a couple things there. Number one, give credit to their quarterback. I mean, he's he's a really good player, and he executed. Um, we did not, you know, whether it was execution of, you know, the call, the technique, um, the finish on how the play should have been defended better. But um, you know, definitely disappointing. You know, I thought we've been making some tri strides on third down. Um, you know, but especially those thirds and, and, and seven plus. Um, that's got to be. You know, that's got to be a win rate for us at a high, high, high level. Um, you know, they did a good job of trying to create some third mediums and shorts, which are always a little bit more challenging. But, you know, the name of game is to get off the field and get the ball back to our offense. And we didn't do that enough on Saturday, uh, especially in those and long situations. We've got to be better. Uh, and I don't know what exactly what you're looking for as a coach uh, during practice on some of those one-on-ones and things like that. But it seemed like to us, or to me, last week at practice, uh, the DBs broke up a lot of those passes, and you know we're very competitive at the point of uh, the ball got there, um, but it didn't seem to show up in the game. As a coach, like how do you reconcile that? I guess keep coaching the technique, Ira. You know, keep coaching. You know, we've done a good job um, in the short time of the year now, as far as getting our hands on the football and breaking up balls at linebacker, at safety, at nickel, and at corner. You know, just happened in that game, you know, there were four or five plays where it's bang, bang, and, you know, they made the majority of them. So, you know, we had a few that we did make. You know, Kevin Knowles had a great play in the end zone on one of them, but, you know, just your mind always goes to those third downs that are critical. And, you know, sometimes, you know, winning and losing comes down to that. And uh, as a coach, you never, you never want to sit up here and say, well, it's a one-on-one -on -one and that's what it is, because that's not great coaching, you know? And, you know, it's your job, whoever's in the one-on-one -on -one is going to go win that or to, to try and create as many two-on-ones as you can as a coach. You know, you're always trying to find the best answer. Um, I think it's kind of, you know, it's part of winning football is you got to create uh, advantages in, in some sort of way. Um, but, you know, I've got to do a better job. We've got to do a better job as a football team of making sure when those moments come that we're on the winning end of, of things in order for us to play better football. Adam, I kind of have a philosophical question about the sport, but before that specifically, what did you think of Azarie's uh, performance? He seemed to get a lot of reps, meaningful reps in that game, and do you foresee him being more of a part of the game plan moving forward? Yeah, you know, I, coming off that bye week, I think I told you guys, he's going to find a way to be on the field. You know, there's just there's too much maturity and skill there, um, and he knows how to play. It's just... You know, it's not easy to play as a true freshman, and um, we've happened to do it over the last couple of years a lot. And, um, you know, it's just his practice and his results have gotten better, and it just it was going to be a matter of time, uh, whether it was opportunity or whether it was somebody went down, whatever it was, I just knew it was going to be a matter of time. And, you know, Zari went in there and he gave us good snaps. 
Um, you know, the ball didn't come his way a ton, but you know, as a coach, you're evaluating all the positions that he's in, you know, pre and post snap, and you know, he deserved that playing time. And yeah, I, I don't, I don't see his role diminishing. I mean, he, I think he started on two special teams as well, uh, which was his first. So you know, that, that those opportunities are, are getting. Um, are increasing with his RA and he'll take advantage of it. And philosophically, um, what what is what is DJ Lundy supposed to do on that coverage down the middle of the field when the ball is essentially thrown in his back? Um, he can't disappear. He can't vanish. He's running full speed, and the kid is that a penalty in your eyes? I'm not trying to get you in trouble. Yeah, no. And it's I, just you watch all these games, and there's so many kind of questionable pass interference calls on the defense. And I think Wake even had one against Johnny, but. What are your thoughts on that in the way yeah, they, they I think nowadays, passing? if you're out of control in coverage and you're at full speed, I mean, if I'm an offensive player, I jump back into the ball, and that's what people coach. And so, you know, just the ability, you got to be in phase. So you got to, and if you're not in phase, you got to run really fast to get there. And then at that moment, if he stops, like, You've just got to have the ability to put on the brakes so there's not a collision. And if there is body contact, then you've got to be able to get your eyes back. You know, DJ was in really good space, you know, to be honest with you. You know, they, they had backup tight ends in the game, and, you know, that was a matchup that we felt good about, and I still do. Um, and DJ was in good position. He was stride for stride. And, you know, if you're not going to get your eyes back, you've just got to be in great control so that you're not going through a receiver. Uh, the uh, the linebacker play has I feel it's been a strength through the first four games. How do you evaluate? I mean, was that the the weakest performance of the years from from kind of going back and watching and evaluating? Uh, you talking about at linebacker? Yeah. Um, you know there 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 weren't a lot of throws on the backs. Um, you know, in the run game, what they what they do is a little bit challenging. So you know, I think you know you, you can practice for that stuff. You know, a little bit like when you play triple option teams and. You know, this is the pace of how it's going to play. Sometimes it's faster, sometimes it's slower, you know. And so I think that's, you know, has some of it. But, you know, I like our linebackers. I think they've done a nice job throughout the year. But I think just entirely as a football team, we've got to play better to win that game. Coach, Coach I know you're not looking for silver linings, but, but the fact that it seemed like you guys were so multiple against them, I mean, you, you disguised blitzes, you brought Jamie in from 10 yards away, and a lot of that stuff sort of worked. I mean, is does that show the players that they're capable of doing a multitude of things to defend against teams? And, um, or is it one of those things where you maybe you just need to dial in and figure out a couple simple more concepts to run better? Yeah, I think it, as this season has gone on, you know, we've been able to become more multiple, uh, a little bit more aggressive. Um, and you know, sometimes it's aggressive in coverage. Sometimes it's aggressive with putting people involved in the quarterbacks. Sometimes it's aggressive with putting defensive linemen in coverage. You know, all those things. And you know we were a good observation. I mean, we were able to um, create more opportunities for second level guys to, to to pressure, which I think going back to you, Ira, creates better one on ones as the game goes on because you know maybe they're looking for other things coming, and now it becomes just a four man rush. So you know it's all part of just putting the plan together. Um, but at the end of the day, we're trying to win the game. We want our guys to be the best. We want them to improve. We want them to just grow each week, but we all want to win at the end of the day on the scoreboard. And so you know, we're just trying to do whatever we can to make sure we put ourselves in that position as a football team. And on defense, our job is to get the ball back to the offense uh, as many times as needed. And we didn't do that enough on Saturday. Uh, and third downs was a big part of it. Um, some of it was, you know, we pressured, some of it we brought four. Um, the four ended up working a little bit better, especially late in the game. Um, but it's all part of putting a plan together to be able to go out there and execute. Uh, Daniel Lyons, like, like, is he another freshman who got the field? I know you've praised him for what he's done kind of in the opportunities. I'm not sure coming in there you thought he'd play him against mm -hmm. a, a ranked team as a true freshman, but it seemed like he handled that well. Is he another guy who just may have made a role for himself going forward? I think so. You know, we knew going into this game, um, you know, because of the tempo of that team that, you know, there's a chance you could play a lot of plays. And so, you know, when we do that, we make sure that we have a, a pre-described pre depth role as how it's going to go. And Daniel was part of it. I mean, every time we put him in, um, whether it's because we were been up big or in a time like that against Wake, you know, we feel he was prepared. So, you know, his reps, um, I can't say that they're going to go up increasingly. It's based on the depth and what we have at that position. Uh, but we're getting verse back and how we're rolling with Dennis Briggs, you know, 
Uh, but Dennis, for the times that we put him out there, for Daniel, for the times that we put Daniel Lyons out there, his play has valued more reps. You know, so we're happy. I think we've got, you know, some of those freshmen that are playing. You know, Pat Payton as redshirt freshman, Josh Farmer, and then Azaria and Daniel. I think are all um, doing a nice job in the opportunities that they're given. What do you see from NC State's offense? What is similar to what they've done in years past that you've witnessed and made things that are a bit different this year? Yeah, I think just the de the development of the quarterback, and you know, um, this would be year two that we've defended him, and you know, he's got an extremely strong arm. Um, he's he's really comfortable in their offense, but just his arm strength in the pocket um, is really impressive. That ball comes out fast and on a line, um, and. You know, he can make field throws and you know, he's got a real command of it. Um, he's got a comfortability with some of those wideouts that he's been playing with. Um, I think Thomas Kidd is, leads them in receptions and they're always in sync. Those, those balls are thrown on time to him uh, again and again. You know, they've had to change out the running back room, um, but schematically they're, they're the same. You know, it's just there's a couple different pieces there uh, that weren't there last year um, and there's a couple new pieces, but the quarterback's the constant. Um, and when you got a really good quarterback, you always have a chance. So they've done a nice job um, putting their team. I know they're coming off a loss just like us. So it'll be a good matchup on Saturday night down there. Go to Ira for the last one. When you go into a hostile environment, uh, sometimes it brings a team together. Sometimes teams kind of fall apart a little bit. Um, what did you see from this team when you guys went on the road earlier this season? And, and what kind of confidence does that give you going into this environment? Yeah, I think the way that the program is run here uh, by Coach Norvell, and um, we try to coach it in a way every day that every day is the same. You know, it's high intensity, it's work defined, um, it's a positive approach, it's an attitude, it's a togetherness. You know, I think that's all those things travel well, right? And so I think that's all been part of the plan here. You know, we don't want to have a program that we're really good at home, not great on the road, or vice versa, or you know, we're good on one side of the ball. It's, it's about just building the team. And I think the day-to-day -day approach that coach sets a standard for, that all the assistants kind of grab it and run with it, and our players, you know, can speak it now. And, um, you know, now that gets strenuous when you're up against it sometimes when you're on the road. I'm not saying it doesn't matter. But I think our guys are built for that. I think they understand um, that there will be, you know, distractions. There will be um, things that may be more difficult when you when you go on the road and you play good football teams, but our guys are ready for it. You know we've been through it, um, and um, we're just hungry to get back out there and get this taste out of our mouth and go play better football. Okay, thanks, coach. Thanks, guys. You could.